Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, I'm gonna share five time-saving shortcuts that I really love to use every single day when I'm editing. So the first one is the most useful shortcut you're gonna find on your timeline, which is Shift and Z, and that will zoom to fit your timeline wherever you're kind of zoomed in, whether you're zoomed right out, or whether you are looking at kind of frame level detail on your timeline. So when you're zoomed in, Shift and Z, and that will zoom to fit your timeline. It means you can see everything on your timeline. The second super useful shortcut that I love on the timeline is Shift Command and then plus or minus on the keyboard. And this will increase or decrease the height of your clips. So you can see when I'm mixing that with Command plus or minus to zoom in and out, I'm able to really see that kind of audio waveform on the timeline at a nice kind of tall height. So I can see the detail of it really clearly and edit with more accuracy. So Shift Command plus and minus for increasing or decreasing the height of your timeline is the second tip that I have here. The third tip is about refining audio levels on your timeline. Now when you drag the audio level bar here in the timeline, it moves super quickly. So in order to stop that happening and to kind of make more refined adjustments in the timeline, hold down command and it will then allow you to move up and down by one decibel at a time. So you can see I'm making much more refined adjustments to my audio levels right in the timeline in Final Cut Pro. So the fourth shortcut takes us away from the timeline and this shortcut is for making those even more refined adjustments either to audio levels or to clips on your timeline. So if I highlight a clip here and I come up to my scale for instance for this clip, we'll just place the playhead across the middle here. Then when I'm scaling things up and down by dragging the bar up in my inspector on the top right, you can see things move quite quickly as we're dragging up and down. Now, if we wanna make really refined adjustments to position, to scale, to any options that we have up in the inspector, if we hold down the option key, you'll see that I'm actually able to move that scale more slowly as well. Now, if we come to the audio here and jump into the audio tab, you can see that when I go to my volume, when I'm moving in the timeline, I'm moving at one decibel time, but if I hold down the option key here, I'm moving by 0.1 of a decibel. So I can make those even more refined adjustments to my decibel level. And the same will count for things like type. So if we come up to our type and generators here, let's grab a bump and open a type. We'll just grab the basic title for the moment. So in my type here, we'll just disable the clip behind here so we can see it. If we are selecting the type and then adjusting the type size, it's often moving quite quickly. We don't have that kind of detail control over it. If I hold down the option key, you can see again, it's moving by those 0.1 options again. So as I'm moving my scale down, it's moving in a very refined way, which is super useful if you want to play with things like the tracking and you wanna get that type very specifically, either close to other letters or just kind of tweak specific things there, holding down option and moving any of these number values by hovering over the number and dragging is super useful. So now jumping back to the timeline navigation, we're gonna click back here again. I'll do Shift and Z and actually just to zoom in a little bit. My next shortcut that I really love, I'm just gonna position my type here, is oftentimes you wanna move between different titles or different clips or different effects on the timeline. So I'm just gonna re-enable this. We're actually gonna quickly just come to our Brett FX Power Tools and add an adjustment layer. We're gonna work with type here, but I just wanna actually, before we do that, just add a little tint effect to everything so that when we drop the type over the top, things are a bit clearer. So we'll reset the size of this. This just means now when we've got our title over there with that adjustment layer and the remapping, we can just kind of have a bit of a easier to see type. So we're just gonna remap these colors. That just means the type's gonna pop out there nicely. So if we grab our basic title here, I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times along the timeline and we'll trim a couple of these down. So basically with that selected, if I hold down my command key, I can move between my titles and you can see it scrubbing from effect to effect on the timeline and basically allow me to move forwards and backwards through every title on the timeline. So if I come into the title inspector here, this is really useful for 
just kind of moving through your titles, checking everything's in place, also doing things like a quick spell check. So we'll just add some type in here and we can then, staying in our type option, we can move forward and edit type and quickly jump using command and the right or left square bracket from title to title on the timeline, which is super handy. So it's dodging all the clips that we have on the timeline there as well. And we can quickly move through and edit all those titles. So super useful for just kind of moving quickly through our clips on the timeline, command and the left or right cursor for moving through different things. If we highlight a clip, then it's gonna move through the clips. So basically, whichever type of object we choose on the timeline, it's gonna move through those different effects, generators, or clips on the timeline. It gives us a nice level of control as we move through our timeline in being able to choose what we're actually gonna navigate through. So there we have five different shortcuts or modifier keys for navigating around the timeline or making fine-tuned adjustments to either our audio or objects that we're rescaling or modifying on the timeline. I hope these tips are useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.